Hi, Around the Club family, it's Colin bringing you this week's fitness tip of the week. This week we're going to talk about surviving the barbecue, uh, the summer barbecues, right? Uh, we're obviously a big barbecue day today, um, but this is one you can use all summer. When uh, Look at the list below in the caption and pick one or two and, and have an intention pre-going to the barbecue of what you're going to work on. Don't think about it when you get there, oh, I should do this, I should do that. No, pick your one or two things, two, two three things that you're going to work on, or maybe it's just one thing that you're going to work on at your next barbecue. So let's get in first. So first is the mindset. So never miss twice. Enjoy the barbecue. Enjoy being with your family. Enjoy doing, uh, you know, being with friends and, and having a good time. But think about never miss twice. And that's a good James Clear quote that you can use anywhere is, you know, get right back into it. So don't make uh, one day of poor eating uh, or not so great eating decisions turn into three, four, five days and it takes you a whole week to get back in there. Have it, miss, <laughs> mission, uh, rough day of nutrition, then right back into it. Getting protein with every meal. So that's a nice way to, you know, especially earlier on in the day, to keep you from overeating later in the day and, and having that be, uh, a staple of what you eat be protein. Um, this is a one that can be probably harder to do and there's ways to cheat around is keep it to one plate, right? Um, one plate and that's it, okay? Put all the food that you're gonna do in there and then take, and then that's it. And that's gonna keep you from going back and forth, back and forth. Um, water at every meal, try to get at least 12 ounces before you eat of, of water and that'll help you feel full. And, and hopefully will reduce the amount of calories that you that you eat and as and, and how much food you put on your plate. Uh, we do need to watch out for the liquid calories. It can really quickly, you know, obviously you're having fun, you know, alcoholic beverages, go for it. Uh, but keep in mind that, you know, you can set a limit to how much you're gonna drink. All right, and then stick to that limit. Or, um, you know, also watch out for your juices and your, your sodas and other things that you may be having because those can be pretty high in calories, right? The next part, uh, next one that you can work on is getting a workout in prior, you know, give a place for some of those calories to go. And then you're kind of, you're getting, uh, you're hitting your exercise goal. Maybe your nutrition goal is going to be off today, but it's going to make it easier the next day to get back into your nutrition routine um, or back into your workout routine. This is my favorite. And I do this all year long is have a protein shake, right? you know, pre-feed essentially, is you're gonna have a protein shake before you go to the party. And that's gonna keep you from picking at things that you don't need and you can focus on the main course of food. Uh, that's a really, uh, a really a good one. So in, uh, enjoy your barbecue. These are a few things, pick one, have that your intention going into the barbecue. Uh, you know, find one that you think you can do. Don't pick one that you're like, that's totally unreasonable. I'm not gonna be able to mess, uh, you know, pull this off. And then, you know, whenever it does happen, enjoy the time with your family and friends and then focus on the next day, getting back into it. You don't need to be 100% get back into it. Some movement, clean up your nutrition, and then move on. So there you go. That's this week's Fitness Tip of the Week. Enjoy your barbecue season. Let us know if you need anything. Have an awesome day.